see what he ate first. Let's see what this bad boy was eating. He's really plump. I bet he's got a bunch of squid in there. Here's his stomach right here. Dr. Nick's in the house. Oh yeah, let's see what he ate, guys. Tell you what, I don't want to put it where we're gonna fillet. Let's walk over here and dump it on the dock. I mean, that alone right there is probably like 10 pounds. The moment of truth. Oh, look at all those squid, holy moly. And there's a manatee down there too. That's a lot of squid. I mean, look at all that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and some pieces. Sixteen squid and some pieces in there. Tarpon are eating it, manatees eating it, there are sharks down there. We got it all. Oh, that's stinky too. Something with bones. So if you're wondering what they eat, they eat squid. We're just gonna pull the rest of his guts out real quick. And then we'll clean him up. So they have a small air bladder. That's his air bladder there, swim bladder. There's a little bit of air in it, but it doesn't, they don't necessarily float very often. All right, there goes his guts. Catch get some foster. foster. Catch foster, get some. Alright. Alright, we're gonna start back by his tail. Yeah, walk wherever you want there. We start back by his tail and work our way up there. A little bit of color to him. A little peachy we call him. Going right down his backbone. Like that. Behind his peck fin. Right behind his gill. Oh, really pretty color meat, guys. Really pretty meat. Look at that. We're gonna do this fish in sections and chunks. It's just easier than taking off the whole giant fillet. That fillet is over 50 pounds right there. Beautiful meat, nice color to it. Straight down the middle, that's where the bloodline runs. A lot of nice loins. Look at that, pretty color there. A light pumpkin, you know, peachy. Pretty, real pretty. And we can go right down the backbone here on the other side. That piece should fall right off. Just like that. And we're gonna split it down the middle here again. Go right down the bloodline there. And that's just because it's easier than picking up the whole giant fillet. And you can cut right along the backbone. That's prime right there. Don't get no fresher, no better. Belly meat right there. Some people like that the best. I think it's all good. Straight down the middle there. Knock off this belly meat. You can see there's slime on that right there. That's the belly slime from the inside. You can just take your knife and kind of scrape that off there. And you can pull most of that off. You can use like a little scrub brush too or a slime knife. But if you just do that, don't cut through it. You can get all of it off like that. So that's the slime out of the belly wall. Just trim this up just a little bit. And ready to go. When you cook that, that belly line there will peel right off. You can cut it off if you want. I just leave it on. But real pretty meat there. Top shoulder section. That's good right there. That's pretty. That's half of it. We're gonna flip them over to the other half now. We'll just keep filming all this if you don't mind. All 
That didn't go as planned. That didn't go as planned. <laughs> That's gonna have to go on my bloopers reel. <laughs> I should have known better. Alright, somebody's gotta help me pick that thing up there. Foster, Foster, do you guys see what Foster just did? Foster, Foster. made the fish fall over. <laughs> what? Ready. Are you keeping yours? Bill? You saved it. Oh. Alright, there we go. Huh. Hang on, we found one more piece of squid there. That was 17 squid in that fish. Alrighty. Same thing up here by his shoulder, right behind his gill there. All the way down his belly. We're gonna save his bill. Yeah, you can keep those if you want them too. <laughs> Big old sword fish bill there. Big old eyeball. Swordfish tail. Now everyone can walk by. We were blocking at him. The happy packer don't like to wait. He's got packing to do. Alright, now we're just gonna go down his backbone here again. Let's do the same thing we did on the other side. Follow right along it. Right, that side. Nice chunks and loins again. It'll be good. Straight down the bloodline there. Back you can keep it open, Chase, if you want. Look at that. Beauty. Beautiful. If you guys want to get some ice for your cooler, too, that whole machine's right there is mine. You can help yourself. Same thing, we're gonna split it right in the middle. All the way down. Then straight down, you can kind of see that bloodline there. Straight down like that. Or just like that. It's prime right there. As good as it gets. This is my favorite piece. The last piece right here. I guess two of her cutting it. There's that there, beautiful. Voila. So there you go guys. That's how you fillet a swordfish, 150 pounder, beautiful meat. And you know, we call this fish kind of a pumpkin because he's kind of orangish. I'm gonna show you the difference right now. We've got another piece of swordfish over here. So look at the color difference right here, guys. Look at the color difference right here, the meat. You can see how that one's real white and that one's more orange. Definitely got color to it. And Probably a little bit richer, a little bit sweeter. Foster's happy he gets to eat a piece of swordfish tonight. <laughs> Alright, hope you all enjoyed that video. We got a lot of swordfish to eat as you can see. We got bills, we got tails, we got eyeballs, a carcass. And hit that subscribe button and give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Well, that didn't go as planned. That didn't go as planned. <laughs> That's gonna have to go on my bloopers reel. <laughs> I should have known better.
Alright, somebody's gotta help me pick that thing up there.